Hello, welcome to my third tutorial. Today I would like to show you how to set up Modbus TCP IP communication between Siemens S7-1200 and Arduino. I'm using an Arduino Uno controller, with an external Ethernet card. You can also use module like ESP8266, which have integrated Wi-Fi antenna and can be also programmed with Arduino IDE for the PLC programming, you just need TI portal, no special license or hardware is needed. All functions are already included in the standard license. If you would like to use Modbus over RS-485, there is a neat little module, which you can plug in front socket of the PLC, and it's also inexpensive too. It's a good idea to know a little bit about Modbus protocol, I will explain the basics, but for more in-depth information, check the web. Modbus is a master-slave protocol. Master is also called client, and the slave is called server, which is a little bit confusing. Slave is listening on given port, master is responsible for initiation of the connection. For storing of the data, Modbus uses registers. For values they're called holding registers, for binaries they're called input registers. Modbus message consists of the address of the opposite device, function, data and CRC check. There are four functions, each one is defined by number. 3 is read holding register, 4 is read input register, 5 is write single coil and 6 is write single holding register. In the TIA portal they are numbered slightly differently. See the help file. Alright let's start. First we create a new project in TIA portal and add S7-1200 PLC. Let's change the IP address, be aware that the Arduino controller, have to have an IP address from the same subnet. I will activate clock memory bits, they are good for timings. You can find Modbus functions in the right panel, under Instructions, Open Communication tab. As the PLC will be master, in other terminology client, we will insert MB client function. I will create DB for controlling of function and also for connection definition. If you are unsure about anything, open the help file, it's well described in there.
Connection definition have data type of TCON IPv4. Interface it is shown in hardware configuration. Idea is identification of the connection. If you use more than one Modbus function, you have to have a unique id for every function. Connection type is 11 which means TCP. Active means master. IP address is the address of Arduino in this case. Modbus usually uses port 502. I will assign control tags to the function. It will start from address 0, 10 registers. I will check Modbus config DB, what is slave ID. This is mainly used for Modbus RDU, but some devices requires this ID to be 0 or 255. I also create a DB for sending and receiving data, it contains arrays of integers. That should be all, now just download the program. Force request bit to one and check incoming data. 
I defined three holding registers in Arduino and as you can see, data are being received correctly. For sending function I will also use the Modbus client function, but parameters will be the same. I check the Modbus unit ID again, for Arduino it should be 1. I will create controlling tags. Interface ID can be found in hardware configuration. Connection ID have to be unique for each function. PLC is master. IP address of Arduino and usual port 504. Let's link the controlling tags to Modbus function. For sending Siemens uses number 116, you can find it in the help file. Transfer will start from address 5. Let's download the changes and set some values to sending registers.
In Arduino I declared new registers 5, 6, 7 and I'm printing the values over a serial line. As I change the value in PLC, values also changes in Arduino. Sometimes you have to restart PLC to make the function work. Some devices require disconnection after every transfer, other not, refer to your device manual. Also be careful when editing DBs. If you're online with DB, there are two values, one is starting value, which is loaded when PLC starts and other one monitored value, which is in the PLC right now. Always change both. Also check the firewall, if it's not blocking the Modbus traffic. That's all folks. Links for software and project and below the video. Thank for watching.